Hello, my name is Leslie Acosta, candidate for state representative in the 197th Legislative District. Ever since I announced my candidacy, the community has made me feel incredibly welcome. They have shared their ideas, they have inspired me with their determination for change. No ceilings would take on what I believe is the next greatest unfinished business in the 197th District, helping people young and old, women and children, achieve full participation in every aspect of our community. We are called to form a more perfect union. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if we want to go far, we must go together. I will be unwavering in my focus on finding common ground solutions to help the district thrive and succeed. I will not be concerned with right or left, but going forward. I will speak truth to power and speak for those who cannot advocate for themselves. Across all of our initiatives, the goal is to help and empower people solve problems and seize opportunities, maximize effectiveness and efficiency to foster sustainable communities, promote economic and neighborhood development to create jobs, advocate for decent, affordable housing, increase public safety. I'm running to fight and bring back the leadership that has been lost for the last 20 years. I am grateful to God for the overwhelming support I'm receiving from the voters of the 197th District. The 197th Legislative District is comprised of 64,000 residents, 44% Black, 53% Latinos, 3% divided between Asians and White Americans. The 197th District, it is the most neglected and forgotten district in the state of Pennsylvania. The district is marginalized, underserved, and underrepresented. The neighborhoods between Lehigh and Allegheny, front and broad, have the highest hunger rate and poverty rate. Less than the third of the residents are actually working. The medium income per household is 13,823. The unemployment rate is around 10%. Frequent crime activity in the district are offenses such as murder, robbery, and property damage. Philadelphia School District closed 23 public schools, nearly 10% of the city's total in a move they say was necessary to plug a $304 million deficit. This means that 93% of low-income kids have been impacted by the closing of these schools. Too many young people in Philadelphia are denied opportunity to succeed and reach their full potential. Not because of the lack of effort or intelligence, but because of where they live and the quality of education in the local school system. My priority is to strengthen our educational system by ensuring fair educational opportunity regardless of social class of origin. Create partnerships and resources to support individuals, schools, community, faith-based organizations, and businesses to improve educational outcomes for children and youth. Advocate to ensure that funding in certain districts are adequately and fairly distributed. Ensure that available dollars are going toward the programs that have the most impact on student learning. The current unemployment rate in Pennsylvania is 7.8%. The U.S. Department of Labor reveals, aside from teenagers, people in their 20s endure the highest rate of unemployment of any age group. The current unemployment rate in the 197th district is around 10%, higher than the current unemployment rate in Pennsylvania. Folks, when we do not have sufficient equal opportunity in employment, it generates a demoralized underclass and increases crime. This is morally wrong and unacceptable. One of my top priorities is to work with small businesses in the community to build internal and external alliances to facilitate networking opportunities to promote job creation. No to increase in taxes on small businesses. Support economic and neighborhood development to create jobs. Support legislation 
to raise Pennsylvania's minimum wage to $10 an hour. A reasonable increase in the minimum wage to $10 an hour will lift families out of poverty and out of the welfare rolls. poorest households struggle the most to pay for housing in Philadelphia. There are 129,000 households in Philadelphia with incomes under 20,000 paying 30% or more of their income on housing. The U.S. Census and American Housing Survey consistently confirm what housing advocates, public officials, and low-income residents already know. Housing costs too much relative to what low-income housing receive from low-wage jobs and public assistance. The medium income per household in the 197th district is $13,828. How can a person or a family live and sustain themselves with this income? My commitment is very simple. Support legislation to expand earned income tax credit. Support legislation to raise a minimum wage. Coordinate and expand in funds to the Department of Housing and Urban Development to tackle homelessness, transitional housing, and supportive housing to individuals, including seniors. Promote the use of the Community Development Block Grant and Neighborhood-Based Rental Housing Program. There are approximately 40,000 vacant lots in the city of Philadelphia, and over 74% of these vacant lots are privately owned. Property owner neglect combined with careless tossing of trash aggravates unsanitary conditions, harbors crime, lowers property value, and adds to the overall perception of disfigurement in the neighborhood. Blight discourages economic development and lowers property value. My commitment is to coordinate and collaborate with programs such as community life improvement programs, graffiti abatement team, vacant lot program to eradicate the problem of blight in our community and neighborhoods. The goal is to maximize effectiveness and efficiency by creating partnerships with residents and businesses to foster sustainable communities. If you believe in this movement of moving our community forward, I am humbly asking you to join our campaign and help me make the difference in this community. Thank you and God bless you. I am Leslie Acosta and I approve this message.